speaking the next sloka is beautiful sloka drishtve mam svajanam krishna yuyut sam samubasthitam sidandi mama gatrani muganja parisushyati my dear krishna after seeing my friends and relatives present here the fighting spirit with the fighting spirit i feel the limbs of my body shaking and my mouth drying up this loka needs to be understood deeply after seeing my relatives and friends i feel i am not able to fight vevadusya sarire me roma harshascha jayate gandivam stiram stehastat lakchayva paridahyate my whole body is trembling my hair is standing on end my bow gandiva the bow is slipping from my hand and my skin is burning this chapter is called arjuna vishada yoga we should understand the meaning of this chapter vishada means depression all these things are symbolic an important message is given to us only when you are depressed you are ready for spirituality please be clear only when you face when only when you see the depression in your life when you see the depression in your life you are ready for spirituality depression of success depression of success please understand you will never have depression if you fail when you fail what happens to you is not depression that cannot be called as depression it is failure you have hope to stand up you have hope you think if i achieve that i may become happy i may become blissful but the depression of success is the real depression even the hope which comes by the desires is lost for example if you invested some money in business and you lost your wealth you always have a hope you can work again you think oh when i achieve my money back i will be happy don't bother let me work there are so many thousands of self help books is how to series if you want to become mad read the self help books <laughs> straight way to mad madness 
whatever you can't practice just write a book and publish it it will become a best seller because everybody is having the same struggle you will be resonating their words it's how to books some of you will read some how to books and you have a hope you can postpone your depression but the depression of success nothing can be done nothing can be done any intelligent man any intelligent man will face this depression of success around the age of 40 to 45 this is the scale to find out whether you are intelligent or not <laughs> please be very clear if you are around 40 to 45 and you are not depressed if you don't have the depression of success please be very clear there is something seriously wrong in your life there is something seriously wrong in your life one person came to me and asked him Swamiji on NRI non-residential India he came and told me Swamiji I came to this country with a big list a big house with a swimming pool two cars and a beautiful family at least two million dollar in bank bank balance this much of share all these things I made as a list before coming here I thought I will take 10 years to achieve all these things but I achieved the whole thing in five years and you know how Indians work and really these guys work hard and save just like Indian habit saving for generations <laughs> he says in five years I made the whole thing so much if I tick all the points now all the points I have covered suddenly I realized I achieved what I want to achieve but I have not achieved what far I want to achieve all these things <laughs> I achieve what I want to achieve but I have not achieved what far I want to achieve all these things I thought I will be happy blissful once I have all these things this guy must have been fantasizing seeing some TV program <laughs> lying just in the bank of swimming pool in the swimming suit with his wife next to him with the, all the bottles and the umbrella in Hawaii beach that must have been the scene this guy would have visualized when he was writing this slip but the poor guy missed one important point he visualized all outer things but he forgot he need to have an inner space which can relax he has visualized everything including a smiling face but he forgot something is necessary in your inner space for you to relax like that just a beach or a swimming pool or an umbrella or a glass or a chair, easy chair or a swimming suit cannot make you relax. Just that cannot give you relaxation. That cannot make you feel blissful. That cannot give you the whole thing. There is something more what is called inner space the inner space you need to achieve something in the inner space to relax and rest a man who is just working running for the outer space 
without thinking or bothering about the inner space enters into the depression around the age of 40 to 50, 40 to 45. Once you achieve whatever you want to achieve in the outer space and you try to lie down the same way in the beach as you visualized, a beautiful beach, beautiful swimming pool and your chair and your umbrella, your wife, your swimming suit, everything is there. But suddenly you realize you are not able to relax. You are not able to relax. I always tell people, if you are sitting in the office and worrying, it is called work. If you are sitting in the home and worrying, it is called homemaking, taking care of the house, household duties. If you are sitting in the beach and worrying, it is called vacation. That's all. <laughs> but you are worrying in all three places. Be very clear, the man who has not worked to achieve something in the inner space can never have vacation. All your vacation is just change of place, not change of space. You may change your place to worry, that's all. When you are sitting in the house, you are worrying. When I will go to the office, I have so much of work in the office. When you are sitting in the office, you are worrying. When will my vacation come? I wanted to go and lie down and relax. When you are lying in the beach, when you are having a vacation, you already started thinking about going back to the house. I don't know what has happened in the house. I don't know what has happened to my cats. I don't know what has happened to my pet. I don't know what's going on in the house. You already started worrying about the house. Be very clear. If you are sitting in the house and worrying, it is called homework. If you are sitting in the office and worrying, it is called work. If you are sitting in the beach and worrying, it is called vacation. Nothing else. The person who works just for the outer space, outwardly things, suddenly when he achieves everything in the outer world, realizes he is not able to relax. One important thing. By the time you achieve all the outwardly things, your car, house, family, bank balance, the tension or worrying has become a conditioning in you. It has become part of your being. After that, you will never be able to relax. It is like selling your eyes to buy a beautiful painting. You sell your sleep to get a beautiful bed. I have never seen such a size beds like this country. Here what you say as double size is the maximum size in India. And at least as far as I know, such big size beds. But so much of sleeplessness, so much of insomnia. You sell your sleep to buy pets. The other day I saw advertisement, sleep number. Oh God. What all new new ideas? I can never understand when somebody says, I am not getting sleep so much. Because in India I never heard of this trouble. I am born and brought up in a small village in India. It, is, it has become district headquarters just now. It was just a taluk. I have never heard the sleeplessness. Actually in India cards are made by rope. That by threats they will make the cards. There will not be even a bed. Just a diamond shape, threads will be tied and cards will be made. 
and this is a cart is a luxury please be very clear cart is a luxury but i have never seen people suffering without sleep i have never seen people suffering without sleep we sell our sleep to purchase bed we sell our legs to learn dance we sell our whole life to buy outwardly things till you have the hope things are okay because you are running behind the hope almost is around the corner is just there you can catch it as long as you have hope you have hope in your life the moment your hope is fulfilled you experience something called hopelessness please be very clear if you are not fulfill achieve your goals god has saved you if god has not answered your prayers desires he is compassionate towards you if you are given whatever you want immediately you will fall into depression be very clear a small story one guy goes to again again yama story one guy goes to yama dharma after death he was sent to some place and there he saw beautiful garden beautiful place and whatever he has immediately it is served all the deva kanyas apsaras they are all serving whatever he wants whatever he has in 10 minutes it is there one week it's okay everything is beautiful he was enjoying he was asking these that whatever he can imagine after one week he feels little bored what is this everything is there what can be done what else to do all right let us do something else he never had something more and us after one month really he feels same like whatever i ask him really they bring how long you can live the same way after 3 months he asks one apsaras on devakanya one apsaras one servant maid please can you tell the boss i can go and have a look a look of hell just for a change i am bored living in this same in this way i just want to see the hell also the apsaras immediately turned and said where do you think you are where do you think you are where else you think all your desires will be fulfilled when all your desires are fulfilled you will be in hell please be very clear as long as there are some desires at least you will be running towards it there is a hope the moment they are fulfilled what happens you face something called depression of success in one way it is a great blessing i tell you that is why i was telling you all intelligent people they face the depression of success around the age of 40 to 45 it is actually god sent if you are facing it will hear here you are more intelligent <laughs> be very clear the depression is god sent ambassador of divine unless you experience the depression unless you start asking what am i doing what is going on with my life what do really i want what's happening 
unless you ask that question, you will never start living. Only when you ask that question, what is happening? What am I doing? Only when you start asking that question, who am I? What am I doing? Your individual consciousness is awakened. The Pratyagatma Chaitanya Jakrata. In Sanskrit they say, awakening of the individual consciousness happens. The moment the individual consciousness is awakened, you feel, what am I doing? What's the reality of life? The basic questions about the life starts happening to you. You start asking the basic questions. The depression is divine ambassador. 